Hey everyone, welcome to my glorious hotel room for the next couple of days. Um, straight off the bat, this is being recorded on a Nikon Z7 with the 35mm f1.8 lens at f1.8. Also, it's being recorded at around about 2200 ISO, just to give you an idea of picture quality. Um, the reason I've got that high ISO is because I've turned all the other lights off in the room apart from this small lamp that's to the left hand side of me. Um, also, it should give you an idea of how the face detect autofocus is working, so hopefully, I'm in focus right now. I'm not moving much around much, I'm sat in a chair, so it's not a huge thing, but just gives you an idea. So what I really want to talk about today is the Wi-Fi features of the Nikon Z7. Previously to Nikon users, you had a situation where if you're using a D850, a D500, a D5600, D3000 series, you would be using an app called Snapbridge. And this app allowed you to connect via Bluetooth and then via Wi-Fi to obviously send images across. And that system still exists in the Z7 and you can still use that in the Z7 if you wanted to. But the limitation of that system is that it has to connect to a smart device to run the SnapBridge app, so like a mobile phone or a tablet. But with the Nikon Z7, what you can now do is access the Wi-Fi on its own, and that allows you to then connect directly to a laptop or to a PC and not needing to run an app in the background. So this is a particularly useful feature if you don't have an XQD card reader, or if you're like me and you just like to forget things all the time and I forget this a lot. So this does help me somewhat when I don't think I have my reader with me and I wanna try and get my images from my camera to my computer. I can use this Wi-Fi transfer and it does work really, really well. So I'm gonna talk you through today how to set that up. The first thing we're gonna to need to do is visit the Nikon website. Now I'm based in the UK, so I'm gonna show you the Nikon UK website. Um, the USA website would look slightly different and obviously any other website around the world would look slightly different as well. One last thing, I almost forgot. I'm using a new microphone, so if you feel like the audio quality is better, please do let me know. If you still think it's terrible, then let me know as well. Um, and I'll try and then make that even better if I can. Okay, so here we are at the Nikon UK homepage. What we're gonna do first of all is head over to service and support, and then go down to the download center, click that. This will open up the new download center page. And what we wanna do is click on the product name and enter in Z7, choose it from the drop down box and then click search. What this will then allow you to do is look at all the software you can download, also firmware updates for the Z7 as well, but click on software. And the first one we want to do is click on wireless transmitter utility. In here it tells you all the information about this piece of software and also right down at the bottom, there's some terms and conditions you need to accept, choose your region, and then the download option will become available. And that will now download in the background. Okay, so once the wireless utility is installed, this is the welcome screen you'll see when you open the program for the first time. And this is a wizard that's gonna take you through step by step. So click next. Then you can see the different types of hardware you can choose. If you're using a wired connection, you would choose wired, but for this instance, we're gonna choose wireless, and then click next. Now you can see the different options we can choose. We can add or edit a profile, we can change a password, but we want to set up a picture folder. This is choosing a folder for us to put our pictures into, so click next. Right, now we need to choose the destination. So you can have this on your desktop, you can save it into your pictures folder, it's entirely up to you. If you need to change the allocated location that's there by default, just click browse and you can choose a new location. But this will be where your Z7 will save its files. Once you're done, click next. You are now done and complete, so just click finish wizard and next. Okay, so now we want to jump over to the back of our cameras. So if you head to the setup menu, and in the setup menu, there'll be an option that says connect to PC. So once you're in there, you'll see that some options are grayed out and some options you can choose. So we're going to go down and select network settings. The only option we have in here is called create profile. So choose that. Then you'll see two options. One is to search for a Wi-Fi network and then one is to direct connect to a PC. So we want direct connection to PC. 
and then it will give you an SSID and a password. So head over to your laptop and search for this Wi-Fi network and enter in the password when asked. Okay, so once you've connected to the camera's Wi-Fi with your laptop, you can see that it says start the wireless transmitter utility on your computer and then select the camera. Okay, so back on the computer in the utility, you will now see your camera in a drop-down box. Choose it and click Next. Once you clicked Next, it's then going to ask you for an authorization code. This will be automatically displayed on the back of your camera. Once you enter the authorization code, click Next and then your pairing is complete. You will see pairing complete on the back of the camera. Press OK and it will take you back into the menu and you will now see that it says connected to PC and it goes green and gives you a little Wi-Fi symbol in the bottom right hand corner. You also now have access to some options. So if you press down and select options, you'll see that you can have auto send on or off. You can also then have delete after send. So what this does is it sends it to your laptop and deletes it off the memory card. And you can also choose the files that you send over as well, RAW and JPEG or just JPEG files, depending on what you want to send over. OK, so to actually send a specific image over to your computer, hit the preview button. And then when you're looking at that image, press the I button and you'll see the option to select to send to PC. Press OK. And there's a small green icon which symbolizes it's sending to the PC via Wi-Fi. OK, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions or any more in-depth information you'd like to know about using the camera's Wi-Fi, then please do drop me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.